Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing well. Today is Music Theory Thursdays and I've got a micro lesson here for you on relative minor keys. What is the minor key of the major key? I don't understand all that stuff. Actually, I do. Why don't we find out? All right, today we're gonna to talk about relative minor keys. What is a relative minor key and why is it important? Let's find out. Let's look at the C major scale. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then our one again. I'm gonna write them out. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, the C again. So this is C major scale. So every major scale has what's called a relative minor scale. That's gonna be a natural minor scale that is the same notes as the major scale. All it is is a different starting note. Here's our major C scale. The relative minor to this is the A natural minor scale. And the reason why it's called a relative is because it's almost the same. Imagine a relative, you know, they're very similar to each other, but they're not exactly the same. This is the relative, it's related, natural minor scale. I'm gonna write out the natural minor here. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then we're back to A. This is our A natural minor scale. Now, how did I know which one to start on. So basically I started on the A instead of on the C. So how do you know which note is your natural minor? Well, it's always going to be the sixth note of the scale. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here's our eight and one again. It's always going to be the sixth note of the scale. Okay, so let me give you another example of that. Let's look at the key of A. We have A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then back to our A again. So if you look at our numbers here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Our sixth here is our relative minor. So here's our major, here's our major scale, and then here's our natural minor scale. And that's gonna be F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, and then back to our starting point, F sharp. There's our natural minor scale. So here's our A major scale and F sharp, natural, minor are the same notes. Let's look at it one more way. You may be thinking, okay, so I have to write out every single scale and then look at the sixth and figure it out. No, you don't have to do that. All you have to do is go back a minor third, like you go back a minor third from your one. So let's just try to, let's just say we have our G scale. So here's our G major scale, and we're trying to find our natural, I'm gonna use this natural sign, natural minor scale. If our one is G, all we have to do is go back a minor third, which is E, to find our starting note. I may not even know all the notes in the G scale, but I can determine that G major scale and E natural minor scale are going to be the same exact notes. So let's look at another example of that. Let's say we're in the key of D, okay? So D is our one, just go back a minor third, again a minor third is just a whole step and a half step. So here's our whole step and then here's our half step. There's a half step in between here. That's our minor third. So D major scale and B natural minor are the same notes, okay? So why is this important? Well, if you're doing anything with sheet music where you have your five notes on your, your staff, okay, here's our treble clef here. Right now, without any sharps or flats on here, this is the key of C, no sharps or flats, or it's the key of A minor, A natural minor. You need to know what the relative minor is because the same key signature, the number of sharps or flats, has two different keys that are associated with it. Let's look at key of F, for instance. Okay, this is the key of F, it's got a B flat. Awesome, very cool, well, wait a minute, it's also D minor, okay? So that's that's important. What if we have this right here? We have two flats. We have B flat and we have E flat. Well, what could it be? We could be the, it could be E flat, which we know, but it could also be C minor, okay? So that's where this stuff comes into play because you're basically looking at two different scales on the same key signature. So your relative minor is basically just going to be a minor third back from the one. Okay, so whatever start, your starting note is, just go back a minor third, and now you know 
Well, hopefully that was helpful to you and you understand how the relative major and minor keys work. If you like this video, please hit the like button. It helps out a lot. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I post these every Thursday, these micro lessons for music theory. And if you would just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's so simple. Stay up to date on everything that I'm doing, all my awesome videos that I'm posting for you. Also, if you have a music theory question, put it in the comments. I want to help you out as best as I possibly can. So if you have a music theory question, put it in there and I will make a micro lesson just for you. Anyway, Kenneth Russell out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.